The way these work in vitro and rodent studies is activate G protein coupled receptors. And once you actually activate those receptors, you have signaling effects that happen all through the body there. And the two biggest mechanisms that are initiated once G protein coupled receptors are activated are PI3K and AKT within the body. And these two actually have a downstream effect. Once they're activated, they activate a lot of molecules downstream after that activation happens. And then you get a slew of things that happen in the body. You get insulin regulation because PI3K actually acts like insulin in the body and helps with the regulation of glucose within the body. This also has activation on protein synthesis. What it does is it increases calcium within the cells, which activates muscle protein synthesis. So these help with muscle protein synthesis. They help with nitrogen retention and they help with insulin regulation, anti-inflammatory effects, and the increase of adiopectin levels within the body to help control 